What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing yet another starter in Regulation F. And in today's video, we're rocking out with Embor. Now, Embor is a cool fire starter from Generation 5, which in my opinion does not get the love it deserves. It's fire, fighting type, making it have some big time stab damage moves such as Flare Blitz in close combat. And it's also rocking the Reckless ability. You guys do not know what this ability does it adds 20 percent damage increase to all recoil hitting moves so we got flare blitz we got head smash two recoil hitting moves that already hit hard enough and reckless on it it gets a 20 percent damage increase the only downside to it is the more damage you do with recoil moves the more damage you're going to take on the recoil so there's plus and minuses to it but still this thing's hitting like a truck you got choice band as item to make this thing hit even harder then moveset consists of flare blitz head smash close combat and sucker punch you also have the Dark Terror type over here to make Sucker Punch do more damage when you're in a pinch and need a first turn priority move. Our second Pokemon on today's team is another Pokemon that we haven't featured on the channel yet, and that's going to be Porygon 2. Now, Porygon 2 is just a bulky Trick Room setter with Download and the Evo Light. You got Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, like we already mentioned, Trick Room, and then we got Recover to recover any amount of HP. In our third and fourth slot, we got Indeedee and Iron Crown. Nice little expanded force combo. Can't really go wrong with that. We already showcased it on the channel and it works so well. We also got Choice Specs Fluttermane in our fifth slot. And then we got Hydrapple, who's a Pokemon that just thrives in the Trick Room. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my content. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Let's grab some wins with Mbar. The creator of the team goes by the name of Weenie. Hilarious name. Absolutely love it. Cracks me up. But uh, yeah, huge shout out to him for leaving his team. Found it over on Twitter. So I will be leaving his page down in the description below alongside the Poke Base. So if you guys want to check it out, like always, it is down there in the description. But we're going up against our first team and we're going up against an Archaludon and Pelbert. Now, Archaludon has always been giving me a problem ever since it's been released into Regulation F. They also have Urshifu, they got Sinisha, then they're rocking out with uh, Komo'o and Incineroar. So from here, I could maybe go into Embar, but he's more of a back-end Pokemon, I feel like, for this matchup, especially because they do have, they do have, what's it called, Incineroar. So I think from here, maybe Indeedee could be solid. And maybe I could just pop Trick Room with somebody else. Do you have Trick Room right here? Do you have Trick Room? You do not. See, the problem with you going for Trick Room is you have the eject button. Now, the eject button is just a slight problem. Definitely is a slight problem. And you know what? I'm going to go into P2. And I'm just going to go into Iron Crown. Right? And then we can bring Mbar in the back end. We can really get ripping with Ndidi late game. So, I can have Iron Crown, Ndidi with that terrain control later. Alongside with the Choice Band, Reckless Mbar. So, I'm down with it. I'm so down with it. That's the only problem, the eject button on Indeed. I don't think I like that, because if you're trying to pop Trick Room, if this Pokemon gets hit once, oh, it's ugly. Then you just swap, you just waste a turn. It's brutal. It definitely is brutal. But I think it depends who you're going up against, right? Very situational. I love the eject button. I think it's such a cool, great item on certain Pokemon. I do like it on Indeed as well. It's just, for Trick Room setting, mm, I don't know. I don't know. And honestly, we probably should have thought about that a bit more because we could have went into Indeedy and Porygon 2. Set the trick room with Porygon 2 and you just follow me and then check button out and put out a good Pokemon. Such as Iron Crown right here. But yeah, that probably should have been a play more so than anything. But the rain's going to start here. Um, Urshfu's going to hit hard. We don't like this one, but any hits through protects. Their Cork Drive's going to get boosted here. My speed's going crazy and I think we just pop trick room. What's my tire type? It's going to be Ghost. If we just pop Trick Room, do we Terra Ghost here? Yeah, I'm going to Terra Ghost just in case he wants to go for the fighting move. So I'll Terra Ghost and if I can land Expanded Force, I would love to go after it <clears throat> and try it. But I'm going to Terra Slice Ghost just in case the fighting move is going into the P2 slot. It is a normal type, so I feel like our opponent's kind of forced to throw that. But he's just going to hard shot the Pelipper turn one. And who's he going to go into? He's going to Archaludon, so he's going to bring out Archaludon in the rain, which I don't mind too much. We're going to Terrasilize the P2, and it looks like that they're not Terrasilizing the Urshifu, which is good. Which is good. Because they were Terrasilizing in the water and hitting P2 with uh, certain strikes, that could have been a big problem. So we'll see how this one plays. Expanded Force is going to outspeed. 
We got the booster energy, and that is just going to dump on you. So that's a solid turn for us. That's a real solid turn for us. That's a real solid turn for us. And Trickrum's going to get across here. So I'm thinking we might just want to, like, waste out some rain turns, to be honest. And not attack the Archaludon. Like I said, Archaludon's just a big threat all around. So we wasted our terror type. Kind of annoying. And now they get to bring out these two guys. So I think from here, Ice Beam's just going to fly and... If I can land a Focus Blast, we could drop Focus Blast into you. I mean, you're going to get outsped, which is a little bit of an issue. So I could go into Indeedee, soak up a shot, and maybe swap into Embor. Because the thing is, Embor over here is rather slow, which is good. And I think that's what I'm going to do, because you are super fast. Especially with Booster Energy. Yeah, you are super fast. So we're going to swap you into Indeedee. We're going to let Indeedee take a hit here. We're going to eject button out. And then we're going to bring in Embor. And then we can have Indeedee and Iron Crown in for the late game, which I think is a not a bad play for us, right? Definitely not a bad play for us. So we'll see a nice big time Terra. Hopefully it's not in the Konomoto slot. And it is in the Konomoto slot. Probably going straight Steel. No, straight Fairy. A little bit of Fairy action here. The Fairy's gonna come out here. Could go for maybe like a Climber Soul, which I don't really like. But maybe we can freeze it here, which would be awesome. That sound it made was actually hilarious. Like a loud screech. Electro Shot's gonna fly through here. It is gonna go into the Indeedee slot. I think Indeedee might soak this up, correct? Or is that going into P2? No, it's going into Indeedee. So that's totally fine. So Indeedee's gonna take a shot here. It does soak it up. And now we get to bring out Embor. Embor is coming out. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rip with it. I'm ready to rip. In the Trick Room, in the rain, I don't care. We're attacking this thing. Close combat could do some nice damage. And Shiny Embor looks <laughs> insane. Gonna go for a body press here. And that actually did a bit too much damage that I like. Embor looks insane. It looks so good. So from here, we're just gonna keep ripping Ice Beams. Or should we go into Thunderbolt? It really don't matter. I, mean, I feel like we have a higher chance of getting Paralyzes. But at the same time, Paralyzes wouldn't help us. It would just help them. So I'm gonna do that. And... I am just going to rip a close combat into the slot. Hopefully he doesn't protect. He doesn't. Cool. Ice Beam coming out here. Doing some beautiful damage. P2 hitting like a truck. A close combat flying. With the choice band. Big time damage. Just what we want. Just to get rid of the Arch Ludon. I really don't care if Embar goes out here. That is massive. That is huge. So P2 is hitting pretty hard too. Which I love. Embar is just dumping on that thing. And Body Press is going to take us out. Which I don't mind. I don't mind. I just needed Embar to get out there and take out that Arch Ludon. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's so big. So there's a few turns left in Trick Room. I'm just going to sacrifice my Indeedee, right? Sacrifice Indeedee, have Iron Crown clean up this match. And P2 still hit pretty hard. So we're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It is going to be Paloops. We already knew we had Paloops, but still. I can now rip an Ice Beam into you, and I think my best bet would just be finish you, and then just follow me whatever shot's coming in here. Definitely, right? We maybe should attack the Pelipper, because you could protect. Yeah, you do protect. You little bug. It's all good. I still think we're sitting in a pretty decent position here. I still, th I still like the position we're sitting in. So ends up doing that. Ice Beam is going to get blocked. P2 low-key being a god here. Hitting hard. And Hydro Pump is going to connect. Miss? It missed. Alright, so you just wasted your protect. Lovely. We're going to send another Ice Beam there. Get rid of you. And then just follow me again. Pretty simple. I think there's one turn left in Trick Room didn't say trick man so it actually worked out fine but in that case i would just protect the iron crown next turn so follow me bang bang ice beam taking out como dude i love the sound it's making <laughs> it just it sounds like it's like charges up ice beam real quick takes him out no problem p2 m bar killing it match number one what a good showcase hurricane flies through here that's what he should have used last turn if you were hydro pumping uh, maybe he's trying to go after P2. Probably. That's fine. Trick Room now ends, and now I get to bring out the Speedster at full health, Iron Crown. So everything worked out perfect. Expanded Force ripping onto the Earth through Trick Room coming out. We played out the five turns perfectly. Got out M Bar at a perfect time, and now we just rip and pretty much just wrap up this match. We'll go Expanded Force. We'll go Thunderbolt. I believe they cancel the battle. And let's see. Or are they figuring out a way that they could possibly win this? I got my glass P2. You know what's funny? P2 
P P2 is already like a glass duck, and then when you add Terra to it, it's just like even more glass, which is kind of funny. But Iron Crown dumps on that thing. GG, match number one goes to us. So guys, we have a little problem here in match number two. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, but this is looking tough. We're going up against an absolute god squad here. God squad, Karidon, or Maridon, I kind of get them confused sometimes. Kyogre, Arceus, Clodsire, who's Clodsire and he's sick, and then Zacian and Chatterider Kalex. So amazing team with just Clodsire in the mix of the legendaries, but we're gonna try to beat them. Hopefully they're not like fully EV trained. That could be a little annoying because these Pokemon are ridiculously strong. But again, we're, we're going to try to just rip into this and uh, look to win some matches here. So I could go Indeedee alongside with Iron Crown. That's not too shabby, but I'm thinking of doing what I wanted to do in the last match. And that would be P2 Indeedee. Mm, this one's actually tough, man. This one's actually real tough. I definitely want to pop trick him. So I'm going to actually go into you. And I'm actually just going to lead... Hmm. Could lead you. I mean, he wouldn't be bad unless they bring out like Rhydon. Rhydon, whatever the heck it's called. But I kind of just want somebody who can protect. But the problem is, people who protect can't really do much. I could go into you. Start trying to just do as much damage as I can. This is looking tough. And you know what? We're just going to say screw it. We're going to do it anyway. Bring M Bar and uh, my main man, Hydrapple. Hydrippy Drapple. Yeah, I kind of wanted somebody who thrives in a trick room with protect though. we don't have that on the team like, i want to go into m bar or hydrapple just protect that turn pop the trick room and kind of go from there but i guess we're just gonna leave fluttermane and just try to outspeed do as much damage as we can and they go calyrex and arcus absolutely terrifying but the good thing is p2 is a normal type that's not get affected by the ghosties the ghost moves that's cool that's something out of mind download coming out here and from here we're just going to pop the trick room, and we're just going to terrestrialize you in the fairy. And we're just going to dazzle him across the board. I'm cool with that. And to be honest, Calyrex might be fastest on the field. That's why I want to terrestrialize you. I get a damage boost as well. So Calyrex might be fast on the field. So when we do pop trick room, this could be pretty solid for us, right? It could be lovely. So we got the heart on the Fluttermane head. And we are just out speed. Cool. Beautiful. I'm going to chunk up some damage. Lovely half HP. In. And of course, this thing has the berries full of citrus. Okay, I understand. That's fine. So, Citrus Berry comes out here. Another Dazzling Gleam will take out Arceus, which is great. And Astro Bosh is going to fly through here. Look at the chaos on my photo main. But we terrestrialize. That move's so sick. That move's so cool. It really is. Sword Stance comes out here. And now you're a little bit of a problem. But the good thing is, another Dazzling Gleam will KO you. But Fluttermane goes last. But Fluttermane now goes last. Fluttermane now goes last. So from here, I'm just going to pop a Thunderbolt. Actually, we might just let Thunder uh, you die out. Huh. You know what? No, we're just going to pop a Thunderbolt here. And if we can, we will try to go for a Moonblast and just... Or no, Dazzling Gleam with the choice specs. And go go that way, right? E-Speed flying here. Ooh, the damage. Real scary. And Thunderbolt's cooking. The Thunderbolt coming in high here. Not picking up the KO. Another Astro Blash coming out here, so that's going to KO us here. And now I get to bring out my slow trick room. The real question is, do we bring out Embor? Or do we bring out... I think we bring out Embor here. We start ripping Flare Blitz, right? Yeah, 100%. That's my play. You're, you're dead. I'm bringing out Embor. We'll, we'll save our Fickle Beam Dragon Apple for late game. So Embor coming in out here. Oh, this Pokemon's so cool. And Ice Beam is going to get cooking. He's going to E speed me. We already know that. And I'm going to choice in the Flare Blitz, right? Flare Blitz is my best bet. Mm, maybe not. They got Kyogre. They got Zacian. They got Clodsire. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. You know what? We might just hard swap at that point. Could go into close combat, but then we can't hit you. So, you know what? We're just going to go into Flare Blitz here. E speed cooking. P2's eating. Ice Beam flying, we'll get rid of Arceus, and now Flare Blitz will take out you. Alright, so we'll pick up the double kill, no problem here. Hopefully, what's it called? Hopefully, uh... Hopefully Kyogre's not coming in here, but it, it, it's probably Kyogre, right? 
If Kyrie's not in here, I love Webberson, but if it is, it's it's a little bit of an issue. So Iron Serpent comes out here. We need a Maridon and hopefully no Kyogre. No Kyogre? Is that Kyogre? Let's go. No Kyogre. That's big. That's big. That's big. So Cloud Sire comes out here alongside with the Maridon. Or Crydon. I, I, again, I get him confused. Ice Beam's going to be super effective onto both. I have Hydrap on the back of which is good. So I'm just going to rip. Actually, we might just want to double down. Now, Fire Butts might be able to KO you. We're just gonna, we're just gonna Fire Butts up here. So, we're gonna see a Terra type come out here. I believe it's in the Cloud Center, right? No, Maridon's gonna get it. He's just gonna go straight electric. So, wow, we should have probably popped the Flare Butts in that slot. We should have popped the Flare Butts in that slot. Because if we get rid of this, we're thriving here. Poison Tail coming out here. And you're out. You're that slow. And that did like four damage. Ice Beam cooking. Give me a little bit of freeze action. No freeze action. Flare Butts cooking. Big time damage, yo, Ember, hitting like a truck, dude. Oh my lord, big time KO. And who's he gonna go after? That's the real question. Electro Drift, does that hit both? That might hit both. No, he's going after Ember. Okay. That's gonna hit up on him, he's dead all day. That move is sick. That <laughs> move animation is insanely cool. I love it. So now I think we have like one turn left in Trick Room and I get to bring out the Apple. The Apple. The problem with the apple here is it's dragon type, but it's still the apple. It's looking sweet. So the apple comes out here. Ice Beam definitely going to be your plan. We do have one turn left in Trick Room, and we're really hoping he is not going for... We're really hoping he's not going for Protect, and he doesn't, so we probably win this match, right? So Ice Beam half in that. Earth Power should be able to finish it off. Super effective. Let's go. So Team of Legendaries, Arceus... Shadow Rider Calyrex, and then this Box Heart Legendary Mariah and Cryota get wiped out by my M Bar squad. I'm having a blast with this team today. M Bar just coming in the back end, dealing a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm loving using this Pokemon. But we're in our third and final match. We're 2 0. Would love to grab you guys a 3 0 perfect record. And what I'm feeling here is probably just a P2 lead again, right? <clears throat> P2 lead, absolutely amazing. Can't go wrong with it. Been killing it. It's so bulky. It can almost guarantee you getting off Trick Room. Plus, I could take it in with Indeedy here and follow me and maybe just swap into M1 after Trick Room gets set up. And that's something I actually really like, so that's something I'm actually going to do. And as our final Pokemon, we're just going to rip with Hydrapple yet again. So same squad, trying to pop Trick Room. We're going to follow me the first shot and then just swap into a Pokemon. That thrives in the trick room, depending on our situation. So either M either Emboar or uh, Hydrapple. So looking good, looking real good, looking real good. But hopefully you guys are enjoying all the regulation F content. Rank actually comes out in just a couple of days, January fourth. So we're gonna be like reusing teams, uh, replaying teams on the rank ladder, re showcasing Pokemon. So if you guys are interested in that, like up today's video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel with notifications so you do not miss out. But they end up going in Cineroar. Long side with Lando. Now, the good thing about Lando is, is I could pop Trick Room, but Ice Beam is four times super effective. It's huge. But Trick Room is definitely going to reply. We're going to follow me. We're going to swap out here. And then we're just going to pop a nice lovely Trick Room. So, Trick Room out and about. And a nice lovely follow me. So, we'll check button out after this. We will see what Incineroar wants to do. And I'm kind of scared to swap into M Bar at this point. Because Lando could KO me, right? Could be going for like a Sandseer Storm. Always an issue. Double hitting move goes bypasses to follow me, and we're and we're swapping in that slot. So, depending on who moves here, we might swap into Hydrap instead. So we'll see. Lando goes for a sub. Ooh, oh, we don't like that. We don't like that. I think Embar still is gonna come out here. Knockoff's gonna come through here. Just deal some damage. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Trick him to come out and about. Do we trick him up? I think we have to double down into that. Into that Lando slot. Oh, you knock off my item and I don't get it anymore? Eject button doesn't pop first? That's a little ridiculous. That is a little ridiculous. But we'll take off the uh, the substitute here. Wow, that just like screwed my whole plan up. He didn't even know what my plan was. He just decided to use knockoff at the right time. That's unreal. I don't like it one bit. He's going to end up protecting. He's going to take out my ID. This hurts, man. This hurts. They're playing so nice and slow. Ice Beam going to get cooking. Do nothing. 
That's only gonna fly, do about nothing. Knockoff actually comes out beforehand. He takes off by Evo Light. Alright, that's getting a bit out of hand. That's a gleam flying here. Okay. I'm still alive. So Ice Beam, we're gonna try it again. He's wasting out tripping turns like nothing. And I'm just gonna go into another Dazzle Gleam. Man, this hurts. My whole plan, this was actually looking real good for us. Even, like, I don't care that he got off the substitute. Just as long as my DD was swapping there, it would have been so perfect because I would have had P2. I would have had an M bar. I actually would have doubled down in the lander slot, so that protect would have just caught me off guard. But still, we would have been thriving with this Pokemon on the field. Now we got to waste another trick and turn to deal with this. But Ice Beam's going to fly. That should definitely take off substitute. Get it out of here, right? Yeah, it's going to fade. And Incineroar probably KOs my DD, right? Yeah. And then Lander's going to KO my P2. Okay, so we only have a few turns left in Shirk Room. I could see Protect coming out here. Like right now, and Sludge Bomb's gonna fly, so. Oh, and we actually survived that, so. M bar time? Yeah, it's M bar time. I think we're gonna choice until, like. I might, I might even Terrasilize here, just so we don't take damage from, like, a Sandseer Storm. But I'm definitely going for an Ice Beam into the Lando slot to look to just KO that. And then, uh. Probably Coast Combat choice, right? They have Fluttermane, it's a little bit of a problem, but still, I think our best bet would be post combat choice. Just get rid of Instant War. Hopefully, they don't. if dude, if they swap into Fluttermane, that would be insane. To be honest with you guys, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it, right? Yeah, no. So we're Thrasilizing just in case the ground move wants to come in the slot. Not trying to deal with it right now. He might try to go for a knockoff, which it seems like it could work, right? Unless M bar is slower than that. I mean, their Incineroar was slower than my DD going first in the trick room. It's a little tough. And Lando's just going to protect. So, dude, they're just wasting out these turns. M bar, can you go first? Can you go now? We need you. Right now. You do. Cool. So, we're going to get rid of the Incineroar, no problem. Get it on out of here. Choice Band, Stab, Close Combat. Doing an insane amount of damage. And I think we have one turn left in trick room. One turn left in the room's full of tricks. So again, hopefully Fluttermate doesn't come out here. We don't really need to deal with that, right? We don't really need to deal with that. And Ogre Pond's So I'm close combat in that. And he might just... He might just use a follow me. And at this point... I could go for a recover here, which wouldn't be bad. He's definitely going for the follow me. You know, I'm going to recover here. And just in case he doesn't go for the follow me. Ah, no. He's going for the follow me. I'm just going to close combat this slot. It's definitely follow me, boy. I should Thunderbolt it, but I'm going to go for the recover here. I should Thunderbolt it. I should just Thunderbolt it. Would have been the simple play. But close combat still has a hot chance of KOing this thing. Ogrepon only gets a special defense boost. And more hitting hard on the physical attack side. So... We'll see. And there's follow me regardless. So there's the follow me. So Ice Beam was not to play. And like I said, we didn't go into it. So I recover. I'm going to get some HP. I'm going to look to try to set up another trick room. So we're going up high on HP. Close combat flying. Damage is absurd. This thing's hitting so hard. Just tanking shots. And I want to see what Lando goes for. We have high draft on the back end. My defense is minus two. I'm gonna set up a sub. Okay. Got some decent HP here. Hold up, who's your final Pokemon? It's Fluttermane. Fluttermane coming out here. So, I mean, Embor can't really do much. We definitely wanna try to pop the Trick Room. And if I can, just go for close combat in this slot. I mean, I could actually swap and just have Sucker Punch. But the thing is, if we swap into Hydra Apple here, you're just going for like a Dazzling Gleam, which is just a huge problem. We're dead, we're dead, so it's just like. Do we swap into Hydra Apple? I think we need Sucker Punch more than anything. Choice Span? With the Terror type? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'd rather sacrifice you. I'd rather sacrifice the Hydra Apple. 
I think M bar can come up so clutch. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get off the trigger. I really don't. I'm, I'm really don't. We don't have Evo Light anymore. I think they double down in the P2. I really don't think we get off this trick room. So if we don't get off this trick room, I need M bar on the field. I need Sucker Punch to start teeing off some nice damage. So we're going to swap into High Drapple. This thing takes a fairy move. It takes a fairy move. And there's that some Gleam. So that's some Gleam comes out here. We still soak decently well. And he's going to go for Sludge Bomb into P2. Great, great move. Great call by them. So at this point, I reset my Chewy Scarf, which is solid. And I don't know if we care the Flutter Man in one shot. I really don't think we can. <clears throat> but I'm going straight for it. I, I got a choice in this other So I get M Bar back out on the field. They still have Substitute. We're going for Sucker Punch here. And if I could, might as well just take off this uh, Substitute with Fickle Beam. Fickle, Fickle, Fickle Beam. And yeah, our opponent looks like they got the upper hand here. But maybe, maybe. I don't know the power of this M Bar. Maybe the Sucker Punch KOs. Hopefully not Sash at this point, but Sucker Punch coming higher. And oh my lord, that is too close. The match coming down to that. The match coming down to that. If we pick up the KO there, I wonder if we would have won this match. I think Sludge Bomb would have went into... No, he would have went for an Earth Power. We would have soaked that. Yeah, dude, we probably would have won this match. So big time plays from our opponent. Their Fluttermane just being able to survive by this much. Couple HP. GG to our opponent. This team right here did so amazing on the cash ladder. M bar hitting like an absolute truck. There's no other way to describe it. A truck going 632 miles per hour right at its opponent. This thing was insane. Hitting hard with the sucker punches. Needed a little bit more damage with the sucker punch at the end there. But close combat was one tapping. Flare Blitz was one tapping. Didn't use head smash, but pretty much every move was just KO in a Pokemon. We also had Porygon 2 in today's video, who we use in every single match and who set up Trick Room perfectly in every single match. Other Pokemon on this team consist of Iron Crown and DD Combo, and then we had Flutterbane and Hydrapple, who we all use in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.